Bro's bringing some heat today. What's up guys? This is The Satchipreneur. Welcome to a new video. Today we were talking about why I gave up on niche fragrances. Now to clarify that statement, if I smelled a really great niche fragrance, I would still buy it. But basically what I mean by this, I gave up the hunt. I gave up the hunt for the perfect niche fragrance. I gave up smelling mass amounts and owning mass amounts of niche fragrances. So today I wanted to talk about why. You may have seen my confessions of a niche snob video. If you've seen that, you probably have a good idea of my reasoning for why I did this. A lot of it goes into it, to be honest. I think this video is just a great way to describe why exactly I kind of gave up on niche fragrances and why I think a lot of people in the community could and should as well. Reason number one why I gave up niche fragrances for the most part is that you pay an awful lot of money to smell like something that you don't want to smell like. So there are tons of great niche fragrances that are super high quality and I'm not going to pick on any brands in particular in this video. That's my, my goal for this video is I don't want to shit on any brands. But let's say you've got a perfume with incense and oud in it. That stinks. That really stinks. And I'm a big believer in ju just do you, do what makes you happy, don't care so much about what other people think. But at the same time, Every time I put on a super weird fragrance like that, a super strong, out there fragrance, I didn't feel right about it. I didn't feel right about it. I always thought, you know, if I walked by me on the street, would I stop and talk to him for more than 10 seconds? Probably not. Probably not. Some of these fragrances, even though they are high quality and they're fantastic for our noses to pick apart, and some of you are genuinely going to enjoy them, for me, I found with a lot of niche fragrances, including ones that I owned that are a little more mass appealing, just at the end of the day, I thought, you know what, I spent a lot of money on this bottle to smell rich and luxurious, yes, but I also spent a lot of money to smell how I didn't want to smell. Like, I, I don't want to smell like oud, incense, for the most part, leather. A lot of niche fragrance notes, a lot of niche fragrances smell quite weird, quite complicated, and I just wasn't feeling smelling like that. So I think that's something that a lot of people don't factor in when they're buying a bottle is, do I want to smell like this? It's one thing to own it and have it sit on the shelf. It's another to actually take it out and want to wear it. So that was reason number one. Reason number two is it's just too damn expensive. <laughs> that between the bottles and the samples, it's just really expensive. Where I am, you don't have a whole lot of options to go in store and try fragrances. I always did when I went on vacation in, in Europe or the US, but for me, buying samples on online is just such a colossal waste of money, especially considering you rarely get one that you love. And second, the bottles are just so expensive. Like. If you find a niche fragrance that you really, really love, there are some cheaper niche, but a lot of them are upwards of 200 bucks. In fact, most of them are upward of 200. A lot are upwards of three. $300 for a 50 milliliter bottle is not very much, or is, is a pretty big ripoff, and you can say the ingredients are worth it. Okay, but if I'm not gonna wear it, I'm not gonna spend 300 bucks on it. So basically reason number two is that it's just so expensive and everybody saw this reason coming. Reason number three is that there are actually some really sick high quality designers that rival a lot of niche, in my not so humble opinion. So I mean, I'm holding Jazz Club and Prada Loam right here and in my opinion, these are both not quite niche quality, but they're so high quality designers that even for somebody who's got a more advanced nose like me, and that's not to talk myself up, it's just I've done this for a long, too long, basically. Too much and too long. But <laughs> these are pleasing. They're very pleasing artistically. You can smell the quality in both of them. You can pick out the ingredients and it's super awesome. They're both great pieces of art and they're just awesome. There are a lot of super high quality designer fragrances out there and I feel like we overlook them too much when we're just focused on niche fragrances. And a huge plus of both of these two fragrances is I wear them a lot. They're probably my two most worn fragrances, and for good reason, man. They smell fantastic, but they're also really high quality. So they're really high quality, and I like to smell like that, so why not, right? That's pretty much why we're in the game. Now, reason number four, and this is the last reason, this is the biggest reason for me personally. Ever since starting this whole fragrance journey, how long would that be? Five years ago, I think? Five-ish years ago. I remember when I got into the fragrance journey for, I remember why I started collecting. The reason I started collecting fragrances was so that I could smell 
way better than every other guy that I could smell sexy to girls and that I could use it as an excellent accessory to pair with outfits. Just like you put on a watch, you put on a fragrance. Uh, that's how I looked at it and that's how I still look at it. So basically, the fourth reason why I kind of gave up on niche fragrances is I remembered why I got into this in the first place. It's important to not lose why we get into this hobby, you know? A lot of us start just because we want to smell good and you know, you see like some of Jeremy Fragrance's fans, they just want to smell good and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's, it's really pure. I mean, there are tons of different fragrances out there and there's tons of different tastes out there as well. So there's something out there for everybody and it's still this journey aspect for all of us. This journey doesn't necessarily have to lead you to the most high priced, high quality, high quality ingredient fragrances ever, like in the niche world. It doesn't have to take you there and for me, I, I feel like I had to go there just to understand it, but now it's time to come back. And at the end of the day, for me, I find that with like my style, with my age, personality, with who I hang around with, my financial situation, I am more than okay with designer fragrances and clone fragrances. And I actually find that it's not... I don't even consider what other people think about it, it's just I feel better if I put on something that I know smells good to me. This is weird, but I could smell like a high quality niche fragrance and be like, oh wow, that smells really good. That smells really good. And then I go out and buy a bottle and I put it on and be like, oh, I don't want to smell like this at all, it just doesn't match me. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I feel like a lot of niche fragrances go better with a more mature gentleman with like a suit, with that kind of thing. For example, Amouage Reflection Man. I love it. I'm not selling it. That's one of my niche fragrances that's not going anywhere. But that being said, I only wear it when I get dressed up. That's how I feel with a lot of niche fragrances, with a lot of the ouds, animalics, leathers. It's that you almost have to be this kind of mature person, this more suited up person in order to really pull these fragrances off. I found I wasn't pulling them off that well. Even stuff more friendly like uh, some of the Serge Offs, some Parfums de Marlies, I found that I wasn't really pulling those off. It's strange, but no matter how good they smell, they smell great. Just out of the bottle, they smell good. But then I put them on my skin, and I'm like, do I actually want to go out and smell like that? Not really. Do I even want to sit around the house and smell like that? Not really. So I, I think the biggest reason why I kind of gave up on niche fragrances is that I remembered why I got into this in the first place. And that was to pair really awesome fragrances with really awesome outfits and go out and have an awesome experience in life. To have the best fragrances that will give you the tiny incremental edge that they do when you go about the various life scenarios and that's kind of where I'm back to now. I found a lot of the stuff that I think is just amazing. There's definitely a few more fragrances I want to add but at the same time there are a few that I want to subtract as well. So I guess the point of this video guys is to question why you're doing things. I think the, the niche snob video does a similar thing as this but Question why you're doing things. Why are you collecting fragrances? Why do you care so much about niche fragrances? Is it for status? Is it for money? Is it for bragging rights? Is it for the uh, pissing contest that is posting on Facebook pictures of your collection? For me, it was kind of a showy thing for like a showy thing on YouTube, you know, being a reviewer, I wanted to show off with all my dope bottles. And the ironic thing is I never even did a collection video. Uh, stay tuned for that, by the way, but I'm kind of just coming back to coming back to Earth now after being on Planet Planet Hob Planet Collector for a long time, and uh, it feels pretty good. I know a lot about fragrances, and I know what I like. I know what I look for in designers, and I'm not done with niche. They're all fragrances. This is something that everybody in this community needs to keep in mind. Just because something has a price tag or the label niche or the label clone, that doesn't change the fact that at its heart it's a fragrance and you can still wear it and you can still love it. Don't pay attention to the price tag. Don't pay attention to the labels. If it smells good, put it on. If you want to smell like it, put it on, buy it, whatever. So guys, this has been my video about why I gave up on niche fragrances, kind of. Again, if I were to smell the next Creed Aventus and I loved it, I'd buy it. For sure. Uh, 
Like I said, I'm Wise Reflection Man, not going anywhere. Parfums to Marley Late, not going anywhere. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Those three are for sure sticking in my collection. I love them and I wear them, so they're gonna stay. The battery died. So I would like to point out that there, this video is not here to discourage anybody that likes niche fragrances and wants to keep collecting them. I'm just encouraging you to take a look into do you actually care about niche fragrances? Do you actually care about the quality? Or do you just want to smell good? Because if you just want to smell good, designers are more and fine. And for me, it was really important to realize why I got into this hobby and what exactly I wanted from it. So guys, let us know down below, what do you think of my reasons for giving up niche fragrances? Have you gone through a similar thing that I have? This has been The Centrepreneur. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below, hit the thumbs up and the bell to get notified when I come out with new content. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat if you feel like seeing the sense of the days and that kind of stuff. This has been why I gave up on niche fragrances. Again, this is not to discourage anybody. This is just kind of like a going back to my roots and a warning that you're going to see a lot more designer content in the future. So <laughs> look forward to that. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.